Hi guys, what's up? Turbo Logo here, and today we are back with the 2010 FIFA World Cup game. This time it's with Lithuania. Now I know that this nation was the most voted one, but also there's been one or two subscribers that have been desperate to see Lithuania for a long time, and I put it off so long, so I'm really sorry that I put it off for so long. But here it is finally, so I'm hoping that I can do well with them. They're a two and a half star team, we have loads of decent teams here. Let's just get straight into it. So what we've got here is a group with Greece, Namibia, Latvia, which is one of our neighbours, and of course the, the team that we're playing with, Lithuania. So how do you think we're going to do in this one? Hopefully we can get out the group. I'm sure we can. Greece might be a little bit of a problem. Um, I don't think Namibia would be, but you never know with this game. And of course, um, a friendly neighbourhood matchup with Latvia. Our first match is the derby match, I guess, between Latvia and Lithuania. I'm looking forward to this because I haven't really played Latvia too many times in the World Cup. And um, Lithuania, of course, um, I've never really played as them that much either. Like, these two nations are very much nations that never really qualify for any tournament that much. Not, not, well, probably not at all, really. I've never seen Lithuania in an international tournament before. It's been a few days since I played this, so I'm going to be a tiny bit rusty, perhaps. Uh, probably not. <laughs> it's just nice to have a few days off and refresh your brain and stuff like that for, you know, making more videos and stuff. My target for this gameplay is probably round of 16. Looking at the group, I reckon it is a very good possibility. But you never know with this game. You never know, maybe Namibia have something up their sleeve that I just don't really want to see. And um, maybe they could they could beat me. Latvia could beat me here. Latvia and Lithuania have very, um, how, how do you say, distinct flags. Latvia have got that sort of like claret, sort of like red, purplish colour that you don't really see on flags too much. And Lithuania is just like yellow and green that kind of yellow and green you don't really see on too many flags especially european flags and you know they're more seen on like african flags that kind of color but yeah you don't know two very um different nations i've never really i don't really know too much culturally about lithuania or latvia all i know is they used to be former soviet states it's been a very quiet first half here against uh, Latvia. Not too much, but remember the first game of the World Cup playthrough is always very cagey. You know, sometimes I might drop points. Sometimes I might outright win it. You just don't know. Depends on the nation. Uh, I don't know why the goalkeeper had to flap at that. All right. Dinovicius. Here we go. I hope I pronounced that right. And he scores. Nice. Just on the stroke of half time, he scores the captain. Dinovicius. 1-0 to Lithuania against Latvia, their neighbours. Nice. Latvia are going to have to pick it up now, especially before half-time. He's pushing his way through. This guy looks strong. He looks very strong. Shoots against the goalkeeper. Just saved there. Could have had our second goal. Not too much has happened in this game. At all, really. But that's fine. As long as I'm still leading, then it's, it's all good. You know, Latvia haven't really done anything imposing on my goal. I've been quite good defensively here, I reckon. Um, I haven't had too many, many um, moments to go through on goal, like this one. This is one of the rare occasions, but yeah, I, I haven't done too badly. Go for the header. Oh, I haven't done too badly at all. You know, if it ends 1-0, I wouldn't be, that would be too bad. The last three minutes of the game, and Didavikius is running through on goal. Oh, he scores. Nice. So, manage it. He is a strong striker, guys. Honestly, he is strong as anything. To to hold off that Latvian defender for that long, like, wow, must have taken so much strength there. Look, I was holding him off from, like, the 30-yard area. And I brought it almost to, like, you know, the goalkeeper's six-yard area. Went straight in. Great holding off there. And it's 2-0 against Latvia. That's quite a nice game at the start of the group stage. A nice 2-0 win over our neighbours, Latvia. Our next match is against Namibia. Okay, cool. A one-star team. So we've got to be careful still. We can't be too complacent against them. But they lost against Greece, obviously. So, you know, we should beat them. Should. Should beat them. The key word is should. Right, let's just hopefully get a win here. Hopefully. That's all... 
If we even get a draw, we're probably through anyway. Oh crap, that was a really bad mix-up by my defence. Luckily, goalkeeper was there, and the striker didn't somehow chase it down. That was weird. That's quite odd behaviour for the CPU not to, you know, chase it down as aggressively as they usually do. Oh, great tackle by Pia Betis. He's going for the chip. Why did I do that? The goalkeeper came out and I was like, in my eyes, I was like, yeah, go for the glory goal. And it just turned to absolute shit. What? That instantly went to a free kick without any, like, sort of, like, pushing or shoving or knockdowns. Just went straight to a free kick. Like, I went near him and the computer's like, nah, free kick. First half's been really weird. Really weird. Like, I just don't get what's going on. Should have probably broken through Namibia's lines right now. But we have a chance here. Here comes Dinovicius. He's strong. Is he stronger than this defender? Yes, he is. See, that guy can hold off any defender at the moment. Like, any defender, this guy's like, nah, I'm, I'm big, I'm powerful, I'm kind of fast as well. So, you know, but yeah, great goal. It took me ages to get past Namibia, though. <laughs> it took me ages. It took me 45 minutes to score one goal against Namibia. Namibia have really given me sort of a game here. They're holding possession quite well. I can't really get the ball off of them properly without giving away a foul. So they've been quite stingy um, defensively and like sort of attacking wise because if I touch them, it's a foul. So it's going to be quite hard to get past these guys. Like that probably see even then I couldn't tackle them properly. So every tackle I make is just, see, like a foul or anything like that, it's weird. No movement at all, oh my god, no, don't you dare. Get out, yes, bad shot. I think that's probably game over, right? It is, you know what, they gave me a hell of a game. Like, you may not see that because it's highlighted, but, you know, they did give me a really good game. Probably a better game than what Latvia gave me. Our next and last match of the group stage is Greece. This is going to be the real tough test because I know we beat Latvia and Namibia, but we need to beat teams like Greece if we're going to go deeper into the World Cup. Although, um, we are through. So if Greece beat us, we come second in the group. So we'll see who we get. Now, you'd think that Latvia would beat Namibia, right? Uh, we'll find out as the score comes up. So if we beat Greece, that could help our neighbours, Latvia, qualify for the round of 16. I mean, who wouldn't want that, you know, to help their neighbours out in, uh, in a World Cup? Oh my god! That left back! I thought, yeah, you know what, I'll just try it from like, you know, 40 yards out. Why not? <laughs> I don't think it was going in, but the goalkeeper had felt the need to push it away. There's a corner to Lithuania. Oh, hang on. What the hell's going on? Like, why would you not like, save that properly? What's going on with Greece? They're trying to slide me out. They're making stupid errors at the back. Maybe they're a little bit vulnerable, you know? Good save, nonetheless. It probably would have caught him out if he didn't move. Oh, yes. There it is. The goal that we've been waiting for. It's number three, and it is Dedura. We made use of their mistakes and capitalised on it. What a great header. Just over the keeper, the way it looped over him there into the top corner. That was beautiful. So, we got a 1-0 lead against Greece. Um, very promising, because if we come top of the group, then means potentially we could have um, a weaker team to play against, which means I could get to the quarters instead of just the round of 16. Um, although I'm getting more confident with Lithuania, I feel that there is some bits missing, like, like for example, a midfield that can creatively, Latvia are 1-0 up, by the way, um, creatively create chances. But, oh, Greece, why did you have to do that? But, and, and defence as well. Uh, although defence has been good in the first two games, this game... Mm, I, they, well, they didn't really do anything now. I mean, Greece are a better team, so it's hard to it's hard to say really. These two sides are going to battle it out for that top spot. Well, Latvia already have almost pretty much sealed their qualification. Can their neighbours, Lithuania, help out? And I just got taken down in the box. Even when I got taken down, the ball almost went straight um, into the back of the net. So what's this going to be? Well, nothing apparently, according to the ref. 
Dinner Big Yes. 2-1! And that means that Latvia now are about to qualify. Lithuania and Latvia may be working together to make sure that they both get through past the group stage. It wouldn't put past me. Um, I don't know. I don't know what relations are like between Latvia and Lithuania. I, I presume it's good. Have a shot. Oh my god, that almost went straight in. We've had way more shots than them. Way more shots. We should be probably a little bit further ahead. Oh, that was just cheeky, that bit of skill there. They whip it in, and Greece are now 2-2. This game is becoming far more interesting by the second. So that now means I think Greece are now in the qualification spot, potentially. Oh, that's a great tackle by Dinovicius. You know what I'm going to do here, right? Just slow it into the bottom corner. And it's 3-2. That mistake by Greece really cost them. Now we're back on top. Watching this match in real life would be very interesting. Lithuania and Greece are having a hard fought battle for that top spot. They don't want to play a, a, a good team in the next round, potentially. It depends what the group looks like. But... I mean, for Greece, this could mean qualification over out of the group stage. It's very, very tough. And I only see when I go back into the menu. Greece with it in. Don't you dare. Oh, my God. Off the top of the bar. Hang on. No. Come on. Oh, my God. In the... It's at the 86th minute. A manatee this scores. Oh, my God. I tried to clear it, but my defender didn't latch onto the ball. Look, when it hit the crossbar... I was like, yeah, let's go for the clearance. And he didn't properly latch onto it. So it's BS, but... Oh, Greece. Greece, back in this game. They fought hard to get back in this game. And there's still four minutes of in-game time, which will probably mean about two seconds of real lifetime. Oh, that was actually a really good ball. Here we go. Dinovicius. There's no Greek defender around him. No! <laughs> no! Oh, my God. That could have been a great ending. To this game, it ends 3-3, and you know what? High drama all around. I think Greece have qualified. We tried our best to let our neighbours, Latvia, into the knockout stages, and I don't think it was enough. I think Greece is celebrating like, you know, they have qualified. Imagine they celebrated it like this, and then the glitch happened. Imagine that. Yeah, it was only by a point. Lithuania, Greece, and Latvia. And um, then maybe I get nothing. So, um, what? who have we got in the next round? we got the Gambia. Okay. Quite an odd opponent, but I'll take it. You know, Gambia should be beating them, right? Surely. I can't get knocked out by Gambia. Okay, so what's happening right here? So, we got Ireland beating Sweden um, in penalties. And Greece beating the Czech Republic 3-0. So, Greece have actually, you know, advanced a little bit more. Then you've got Benin versus Russia. Portugal versus Uzbekistan. Germany versus Switzerland, Gambia versus Lithuania, which is me, Slovakia versus Paraguay, and Colombia versus Rwanda. Round of 16 time then, it's against Gambia. I did predict I'll get this far, but I have a feeling I could go further. As long as Gambia don't be, like, you know, annoying about it, like they, like Namibia were. Even though I beat N Namibia, they were quite annoying to play. Um, hopefully Gambia aren't the same, but Gambia got here for a reason, right? So, of course, you know, they're going to play their hearts out to get into the quarterfinals. How is that a free kick? I literally, you know what's going to happen now, right? They're going to score the free kick, sit back, job done, Gambia go through. I've been in this situation about a thousand times, and thank God they didn't score the free kick. Dinovicius, come on. Use that strength. Yes, there we go. It's 1-0 against Gambia. We have to use our secret weapon, or not so secret, really, because I keep using it. Cessnauskas running down the wing, gets chopped down, nothing happens. Thank you, referee, for that. Hasn't been the game that I've wanted, but sometimes that happens, and, um, you know, I just hope that I can just get one more goal, really. Oh, I was hoping I'd do like a diving header or something, but nah, of course not. This turned out to be exactly what, how I expected. Gambia are playing exactly the same as what Namibia did. Even though Gambia are like, what, a two-star team or something, um, you know, they're, they're playing exactly the same. They're playing ultra-defensive, and then when they go attacking, they have everybody behind the ball ready to pounce on like a mistake or something. 
and it ends up being like a 1-0 to me because I got lucky with one of my goals and um, that was a horrible shot but yeah they've played exactly the same as Namibia which is okay but twice in one play for it, it's just like oh yeah quarter final down we beat Gambia 1-0 a very a kind of an underwhelming result considering we've scored three goals against Greece but I know how these smaller teams sort of like play um, against me they 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 set up very defensively, and like I said, they push on the counter with like what, like seven men in your box, but somehow manage to find a way to drop like all eleven men back in the box when you're trying up the attack. Dinovicius is top goal scorer. Who we got next? Who we got next? We got Switzerland. Okay, so Switzerland beat Germany, which is good, but Switzerland, like I said, they have beaten them in the past, and it was like six one or whatever. Let's see if we can get revenge for what they've done to me in the past. They are a decent team, to be fair, Switzerland. You know, they're very overlooked on the, the games and in real life, I'd say. They're not really attacking me at the moment, so I'm just going to have a shot and see. No, long shots don't really go in on this difficulty. I know, like, when I played a game, when I used to play the game on, like, professional and um, semi-pro, um, there used to be like sweet spots on the pitch where if you just shoot from anywhere in that sweet spot, it will test the keeper or more than likely it will go in. But here we go. Here comes Cernas now. I feel Liffy Wayne. Ooh, that was a bad tackle. Well, I don't know. Was it a good tackle? Was it a bad tackle? We don't know. But um, was that Senderos that got the yellow then? Okay. So we got a good chance to score. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm just going to pass it off here. Don't know why it went to that guy. But oh, great save. I thought that was going top corner. Dinovicius, he's so strong. Look at him. He's holding off like quite a lot of those defenders on that, that run. No. Get out. Thank God. Seriously, nothing is happening in this game. Nothing. Both sides are really cancelling each other out. It's beginning to worry me a little bit because the substitutes that Switzerland are throwing on aren't bad players either. So, you know, I need to, I need to watch out. Oh, that's bullshit. I knew that deflection would pay off for them. Come on. Great save. That guy would not let me tackle him. Great save by the Lithuanian keeper to deny Switzerland. We're not out of the woods yet. They have a corner. They could easily head this in and brand it game over without a chance for me to go through. But thankfully, one of my defenders decides to head her out. Oh, damn it. I could have, like... Oh no, I went for, they went for the shot and... What's that? What's that? Please don't be a penalty. Too much stuff going on in the box there for me to <laughs> understand. Oh my god. Oh, why did you get on the wrong side of him and now Switzerland... Ah, oh, thank god it was offside. Alright, so now it is extra time. Switzerland have had more shots than me. That's fine. It doesn't really mean that much. It just means they're not very clinical at the moment. Oh, what? That's, li oh, that's left me completely exposed. What the hell? Enkufo was just waiting in the box for that like that, that goal. He was. He was just waiting there. Oh, my God. So, here, I kick it out, and it perfectly lands to the, 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 the midfielder, and the goalkeeper makes a feeble attempt to save it. Literally, it was the easiest goal you probably ever have in your life. 1-0 to Switzerland, and it looks like... Potentially, I am probably out. Need ah, oh, go towards it. Don't be lazy. Ah, oh, I think it's over anyway. Because yeah, through ball and yeah, but of course that happens. You know they get that sort of underneath the goalkeeper sort of thing. And Switzerland have me yet again in a gameplay. I can't deal with them. They're like the new Italy at the moment. Like I'm not saying that. In terms of real life, in, ter in terms of my game and my gameplays. I just can't beat them. I just can't beat them. They're so hard to deal with. Come on. Oh. <laughs> at, the, at the end of the game, just slide out with Philip Senderos at the end of the game. Could you imagine if that happened? You know, when the full-time whistle's blown, someone full-on full on slides into him. But there you go. There's your Lithuania gameplay. I hope that the people who really wanted Lithuania are happy with it. I tried so hard to get past the quarterfinals, even though I predicted the group stage and round of 16, more round of 16, I'd say, 
But to get to the quarterfinals is not that bad. So who is our winner this time? It's Russia. They beat Switzerland 2-0 in the final. And Paraguay beat Ireland in the third place playoff round. So I really hope that you enjoyed this gameplay of Lithuania. I can see that Dinovicius was top goal scorer with six goals, so pretty good. Um, give it a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.